What's up guys, Jordan Schumacher here, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly how, step-by-step, step, you upload a Facebook custom audience from a customer file. Let's take a look. All right, so we are deep inside my computer right now, and I just pulled up uh, one of my website's um, custom audiences tab in Facebook, uh, and we're about to upload a customer file to create a custom audience. But the first thing we need to do before we upload that file is take a look at uh, Facebook's customer data preparation best practices. And so basically, anytime you upload a uh, customer file to Facebook, if you want to create a custom audience, you go into your, your asset library, uh, go to custom audiences, and then you click on create audience, custom audience, and then you have four options. You can choose to create an audience based on a customer file based on website traffic, which uh, is, is tracked via your Facebook pixel, based on app activity or engagements on Facebook. For the purposes of this video, we are going to create that custom audience based on a customer file. And so when you click that, um, you can see you can import directly from MailChimp. Uh, Facebook has an integration with MailChimp, and so you can just integrate that directly so your um, email newsletter in MailChimp will automatically import into Facebook. But if you do not have a MailChimp account, if your customer data lives elsewhere like mine does, um, then you have to go to choose a file or copy and paste data. And so once you click on that, um, you're then presented with the option to upload your file. It can be in CSV or TXT format. Uh, and you can upload your customer list and what Facebook will then do is Facebook will take your list and it will take the attributes of the list and it will try to match it up uh, with with the customer database that that Facebook owns and generally speaking you can expect to see about a 60 to 70 percent match rate so if you have a customer list of a hundred thousand people and you import them into Facebook using this method you can expect that around that Facebook will be able to match around 60,000 of those people and you'll be able to target about 60,000 of those people on Facebook um, but in order to ensure that Facebook can match the highest uh, number of those customers as possible, you need to ensure that your data fits their formatting best practices to ensure that their back end can match up um, your customers with everyone that Facebook has. And so to, to do that, you need to understand what those best, best practices are. And so if we go here and we take a look at Facebook's uh, formatting best practices, like I mentioned before, file needs to be in either CSV or TXT format. Um, and now we go into data types, and there are 15 different types of data that Facebook will look at to match your customers. You do not need to use all 15 types, um, but the more you use, the greater the chance that Facebook has to match that customer up. And so the first type is the most common, and that is your email. Facebook will accept up to three separate email address columns um, in all the various formats. And so what you do is you just have a column header, name it email, and then have their email. Um, Facebook also accepts phone numbers and so that column header is called phone and this is something that that actually is new to me and that I just learned and that is a very common mistake um, it's a mistake that I've made in the past frankly and it's that every single phone number you have must include a country code to be used for matching so even if all of your customers live in the US there has to be a one preceding that phone number uh, or Facebook won't use that phone number to match it since Facebook's database is obviously international and so basically that means that if your customers aren't putting in a one, um, if, if they're from the US, if they're not putting in a one before their phone number, and, and frankly most customers don't, then in Excel you need to go in and actually add a one in front of um, all of their, their names. And that's very simple to do. Simply just insert a column to the left of the phone number and then add a one in front of all of the phone numbers with uh, United States. And then you know you can, you can change the, the country code based on their location and then you just create a new column um, and, and concatenate the two of them together. Very simple, but uh, it's important to follow that step or Facebook will not look at the phone number. Next um, is just first name, pretty self-explanatory, titled FN. Um, they accept first name as well as initials. Last name, they accept full last names. Um, city, self-explanatory. State, they accept the abbreviation and the full name. 
Um, country, this is something that is also interesting. Countries must be provided as a two letter country code. So if they type in United States, if your contact database has United States in as the country, that will not count. It has to be US. Date of birth, uh, they accept pretty much any possible combination of ways that people enter their date of birth. These are all of them. Year of birth, self-explanatory, age, zip codes, they accept um, all of the different zip codes. Uh, there's, no, there's no benefits to including the four digit extension, they just accept the zip codes. Gender, M and F abbreviation, and then if you happen to um, have an app or a mobile advertiser ID on your customers, Facebook accepts those types of uploads as well. Um, but this only applies if you have um, a, a Facebook app or a, a mobile advertiser um, ID. And so assuming your, um, your customer list follows this format, then you can proceed to actually uploading um, your customer list into uh, into Facebook and let's do that right now. So to upload that customer list, you just uh, find your file, you just drag it straight into Facebook and Facebook will upload that customer list. Um, you can name it whichever audience you wish and then you just click next. Facebook will take a look at um, your map identifiers. And so this allows you to basically, Facebook scans your document, takes a look at your headers and automatically suggests um, their data mapping based on your header names. And if you have uh, a column mislabeled, for example, then you can go in and manually change that. So let's say this was actually email addresses rather than first names. I could go in here and I could uh, choose email, for example. Um, and that's all this is. And then you just click on upload and create. And um, that's all there is to that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that uh, you got value out of it. If you did find value out of this video, if this video did help you, I would ask you to please, please subscribe to this channel. I do all this for free. Subs uh, my subscriber count is really the only way that I know that what I'm doing is, is providing value to people. So please, if you found value, subscribe. Um, additionally, if Facebook ads are something that you find interesting, that you want to learn more about, I'd encourage you to go to Facebook and join our free community there called Attention Arbitrage. Um, it's a community made up of uh, freelancers, consultants, entrepreneurs, all using Facebook ads to grow their own businesses. We post case studies there. We post tips, tricks, hacks. It's a fantastic community and you'll get a lot of value out of it. Lastly, what I want you to do right now is go down in the comments and post a comment on what is the one topic that you want to see me make my next video on. I read every single comment I get. Um, I reply back if I can. And uh, if you post a comment on what video you want to see next, I promise you I will make it. So please go down right now, leave a comment. Thanks. Take it easy. Keep hustling.